Let's move on to the third example. Remember, in this example, we want to create an event map that shows the different methods used to confirm PF malaria among women by district in training land. Before we get started, we need to open a new map. First, choose the base map of Bing Road. Next, add a boundary layer to show the districts in training land. From the organization unit tree, select training land. And then under Select Levels, tick the box next to District. Click on Add Layer. We now see the district boundaries in Training Land. Next, we need to add the Event Layer of the map. Click on Add Layer and choose Events. Under the Data tab, choose Malaria Case Management as the program and stage. Again, we will leave the coordinate field as event location. For the periods, we want to display the events that occurred between the 1st of July and the 31st of December of 2019. And in the Org Units tab, ensure Training Land is selected in the Organization Unit tree. Now let's edit the filter. In the Filter tab, click on Add Filter. First, let's filter on Sex. For the data item, select Sex. For the operator, One Of and option as female. The other filter we want to add to the event layer is the malaria species type. We only want to view the PF species of malaria. Click on Add Filter. For the data item, choose malaria species type. For the operator, one of and the option as PF. Select Add Layer. With this configuration, the map will only display events where the case was a female who was infected with the PF species of malaria. There is a small box on our layer controls indicating that filters have been applied. We can see under the heading that the map is filtering out both the sex as female and the malaria species type as PF. The last thing we would like to display in the map is the malaria confirmation method. To do this, we need to go back in to edit the event layer and apply a data element style. In the style tab, click on the Style by Data Element drop-down list and choose Confirmation Method. We can see that the options for Confirmation Method appear. RDT, Microscopy, and both. The colors that appear next to each option can be customized by clicking on the color and adjusting to the color of your choice. Set RDT as purple, microscopy as blue, and both as red. Click on Update Layer. The map is now displaying the female cases of malaria that were infected with the PF species in Training Land that occurred between July and December of 2019. 
It is also showing these cases by the confirmation method using donut clusters. The number displayed in the middle of the cluster represents the total number of cases by cluster. And the different colored rings represent the percentage of each confirmation method. For example, let's look at the cluster that displays 48. Based on the different colors in the donut, we can see that just over 50% of the cases were confirmed using microscopy. Roughly 25% used RDT and another 25% used both methods. If we zoom in on that cluster, we can see that the clusters on the map get smaller until we can zoom in on single cases. Notice that the filters and style legend that you have applied to the map will appear in the data dimensions column on the left side of the map. Finally, save your map as a favorite. Click on File and choose Save. Add a descriptive name with your initials and then click on the Save button. We will pause here so you are able to complete the activities associated with this video. Make sure you save your map as we will add all of the maps to a dashboard in the next video.